Hey everybody, welcome back to the Food Network. So today we're going to take a look at Bangkok couples vlog, birthday lunch, and taking a ferry to Iconcium. Okay, I don't know if I pronounced that correctly. But uh, let's see if Chantal complains on this boat ride um, like she did the last one. I wonder if this boat ride will be more than 88 cents. If it's more than 88 cents, does she have grounds to complain? Let me know. Um, Birthday lunch. So it's his birthday. A lot of people don't really know his age. It's been speculated that he's in his 30s, mid-30s, late 30s. Uh, I think the official age that they're going with here that they're telling us is that he is 30 even 30 years old but um as far as like people i don't really like to talk about you know what personal information is sometimes shared on other websites and everything but there's nothing really for me even to say because i don't think that anyone has found any sort of like record or document or whatever you know verifying this guy's age but some people are just kind of like well you know he looks a little bit older than 30 i could say that this guy's maybe like 34 35 but they're saying he's 30 so uh (laughs) i guess i guess we're going with 30 um i have looked through this vlog a little bit so far and um honestly a lot of it is just stock footage, in my opinion. A lot of it is just Chantal uh, using the background, no copyright music, and her just kind of showing up um, random footage that she took throughout their day. So some of this we will be skipping to, and then we're going to move on to a mukbang. Oh, that's funny. He's wearing a shirt that says super dry. (laughs) I mean, that is a good way to describe his character. This season, this arc, this, you know, Kuwait thing that she's going on with um, their relationship in general. Yeah, super dry. That's that's pretty on brand. Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are starting the video with some pudding for lunch. It was my choice by the way, because it's my birthday and I cannot get enough of pudding since I tried it. So this is her fuel for the day. Um, French fries, gravy, and cheese. This is what's going to power Chantal through today's activities. Okay, all right. We also share this delicious dip of fried fish, pita bread with hummus, salad, and a type of yogurt dip for the fish. So yes. Oh my. Are we going to get another uh, Wikipedia history lesson on some of the architecture that they walk by? Do we, I really should make a bingo sheet for this. History lesson that she read off of on the internet, word for word. Um, she's going to tell us that it is humid out. Um, he uses the rechargeable fan on her. Um, they have some type of meal later on where Salah does the... Like the, the the point to the food, like this is it. Wow, this is it. Like the the point. Did he do that for the fries? He did that in the last episode. I don't know if he did it for this one. Did he point at it? Oh, he did. He did. He did point at it. Well, there's well, wait. There's no food. What's he pointing at? <laughs> the placemat. Well, dude, you got to wait for the food to show up before you point at it. <laughs> he likes that little point. He definitely likes that little point. (laughs) 
So yes, we are here again at the same park you saw in a previous video. This is what Salah wanted to do for his birthday. He loves parks and nature, and this park is a 7 minute walk from the Putsin restaurant, super close. Whoa, those stairs were pretty steep. Did y'all see those? Oh, okay. Whoa, look at this. Look at this. Run, run, Rudolph. Santa's gone. Look at this. She's doing it. Both railings are being utilized. She made it. Immediately runs to the back of the boat. Okay. You enjoying honey? So much, it's so fun. <laughs> and this is what we call it, the real boat. Uh uh, oh, we got our first complaint. <laughs> a little wobbly, it's a boat. <laughs> it's a boat. <laughs> Oh my. You see what I mean when a lot when I say that there's a lot of this is just music and footage of them not really doing anything. <laughs> they like to do that a lot too. In in addition to him pointing at food and you know things that he thinks is cool um they, they love to wave it's like i understand i am watching a video that is centered around you too you, you don't need to wave at me <laughs> hi <laughs> I mean, really, no voiceovers, nothing. I mean, it is just looping, quite literally looping the no copyright music. Today we are riding the Chow Fryer tourist boat. This double-decker stops at every pier along the river, and people literally just hop on and off, thus earning its name, the Hop-On and Hop-Off Boat. This ferry stops at iconic Bangkok locations, such as the Grand Palace and the Wat Arun Temple, both of which we did get to pass today, and it was quite a sight. The boat ride was one of the best parts of the day. We highly recommend. Has the United States retired the electric chair for death row? I, I, it's mostly lethal injection now, right? Lethal injection. Because, like, I, I mean, like, historically, there's been electric chair, firing squad. I'm sure there's some other ones that aren't coming to mind right now. But, um, hey, you know, I would imagine that that lethal injection does co uh, cost taxpayer dollars. Maybe, just maybe. For someone that does not have any knowledge of girl world and doesn't... Maybe this could be a new form. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's just so dry. I mean, seriously, coming off of reviewing an Amber Lynn vlog, going right into filming this too. I mean, it's just like, I, 
I don't know. I, I mean, I'm going to have to like start. I, I don't know how I'm going to keep myself awake. <laughs> Off going to Wat Arun, and now we're headed to Icon Siam. You guys, this is such a fun experience for me. I am having such a good birthday. And he's going to talk with his hands. Dave. You enjoying your birthday? Yeah, so much. <laughs> Good. It's one of my best birthday ever. Oh, I'm so glad. <laughs> I mean, you almost feel a little bit sad for the guy. I mean, this this is your best birthday ever. Eating French fries with gravy and ketchup with Chantal and taking an 88 cent boat ride across Bangkok. This is the best. Oh. Guys, can we just move on to the mukbang? Chantal will take you guys inside for a closer look. Oh, Hermes. Louis. You think that they're gonna, what she call it, a hop on, hop off, hop off boat? You think they're gonna hop off and go buy something at Louie? <laughs> oh my. I mean, if we're, if we're complaining about the 88 cent boat ride, I, I, I couldn't imagine the complaints that uh, would be uh, uttered in Hermes. Okay, let's go. I'm so dizzy. So you can arrive at Icon Siam from the riverfront or from the street. We of course arrived by boat, so we debarked on the pier. We followed the crowd to the mall entrance area. Anyway guys, thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Ma salama, goodbye. Yes guys, join us next time for when we go inside the Icon Sam for more fun. Bye. Oh, they go in. <laughs> what, to window shop? Oh, could you imagine if they go in there and she buys them something from Gucci? <laughs> he really wanted a Gucci belt. Oh my, to be continued. Like, like as if this is a cliffhanger. And like next week on Sala and Chantal, we go inside the. <laughs> you know, you just have to wonder like, is there that one viewer out there that has no knowledge of Girl World reaction channels and Chantal's past and everything that is quite literally watching this content for the content and is actually going to tune in next time to be continued? I, I just. You have to wonder. I would love to talk to that person. I would love to. Okay, let's um, move on to her eating. Okay, no real rhyme or reason. I just kind of clicked on one of them. Uh, this one's only 13 minutes. I didn't want to suffer too much after filming uh, an Amber Lynn one and doing the, one of their vlogs. So we're just going to do a quick one right here. Let's see if there's anything to this. Hi, guys. Hello, hello. Welcome back to another video. So, today I am eating some halal food, halal fast food here in Bangkok, Thailand. I am having a double burger, double barbecue cheeseburger, and I'm having some onion rings and some chicken strips. So, uh, bismillah.
And I have some chili sauce for the chicken strips. And this here is like my new favorite drink from 7-Eleven. It's um, all you need, it's called. Vitamins and fiber, 10,000. So is this, is this all gas station food? Did she, I, I, I'm like half awake, half listening. Did she say where it's from? I mean, she said the drinks from 7-Eleven. So is this gas station food too? Huh. A double burger, onion rings, and chicken tenders. With likes to be some honey mustard. Thousand milligrams of fiber, no cane sugar added, just fruits and vegetables. Okay, no, 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 it's not gas station food. It, it says Finn Burger. I think she ate here once already. Okay, so this this must be some local restaurant. Has vitamins A, E, B, C, um, yeah, and it has tomato and all kinds of fruit. I like that it has tomato in there because I love tomato juice. So let me just pour this into a glass of ice and let's eat. Give you guys a beauty bite. I want to try these onion rings with this sauce. This is like a, tally, um, a thousand islands sauce. So, all right, so, all right, let's dip. Beauty bite! Mmm. <laughs> oh, God, is she wearing that mic again? The suction noises are especially heinous in this video. I mean, like, I, I know Beauty Bite's her thing. That's kind of her signature. But where did she ever come up with that? I mean, it's definitely a bite. It's definitely a bite. But um, where does the first part of that term fall into play here? Huh. They're good. Mm. It's actually really good juice. You taste like hints of tomato with like berry it's a hard it sounds gross but it's actually really good all right so all right so we're going to put some chili on these little nuggets they're not nuggets they're like chicken strips i guess <laughs> yeah, bye would that would that be pretty on brand for Chantal to confuse a chicken strip with a chicken nugget? <laughs> oh, that's mean. That's mean. Take it back. Mm. They're lightly seasoned. Very good. So, there's a lot of crazy things going on in the world today. And one of those things I happened across was super crazy. A YouTuber was shot, yes, shot, by a food delivery employee in Dulles, Virginia recently. Is this the best we got to talk about ra something completely random? I mean, could you imagine if if I came on here and to entertain you all, it, I just talked about random tweets that I saw on Twitter or, or like a random Facebook reel? You know how sometimes you'll just get like lost in a trance watching little 20 second clips on Facebook, just going clip to clip. And I, I came on here. And I was like, guys, I saw this one clip on Facebook. <laughs> A husband filled a balloon full of paint, tied it to the ceiling, and when his wife walked beneath it, he popped it and it went all over her. Crazy, insane. We have to talk about that. Like, So a young lad by the name of Alan Colley was picking up some food for his delivery. So normal every day for him, going to work, thinking his day will be uneventful, not thinking he would be harassed by a couple of troublemaking um, YouTubers who are trying to get views and clout. <laughs> oh. 
off of his harassment. So what happened was these two YouTubers, I think the name of the YouTube channel is like Common Goons or something like that. I don't I don't remember. Anyway, not important. <laughs> and this this YouTuber's name is um, Tanner Cook, and he actually was filming a video in this uh, food center in Dola's. <laughs> Oh yeah, there, there's a real big winner. Oh yeah, Tanner. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm tired. If I don't laugh at something, I'm gonna fall asleep. Did she talk about this the whole video? Where he was like, I'm still gonna make videos. I'm gonna still make videos. Hasn't learned anything from this. Chantal, you're one to talk. You don't learn from any of your mistakes. <laughs> Should we remind you of what went on the past two years? <laughs> oh, people never learn. <laughs> you're 39. That kid's like, what, what is he, like 18, 19? Like, kids are stupid. I'm not justifying it. Yeah, it was like moronic to do something like that. But I mean, <laughs> oh no. And actually, Alan Coley was acquitted of charges. Of I think it was. Yeah, just eat your burger. Hmm. Very large. I can't. I, I, I don't know if I can with this one. I, I mean, just like the grease in between her fingers right here. It's just like dressing each individual bite with ketchup before she bites into it. it it's just a lot. I, the nothing conversation. I just... I, I mean, really, dressing each individual bite before she bites into it with sauce. <laughs> it's its not enough, you know, to just take the bun off, put ketchup on it, and then put the bun back on. We, we have to do each individual bite. <laughs> oh, my God. Mm. So my opinion is, even if the guy felt threatened, I don't think that it escalated. I don't think that the situation escalated. Why does she never have a napkin? Never has utensils, never has a napkin. I mean, I, I I don't know. Like, is is the tongue the napkin? Is this is that just how this works? And I haven't caught on yet. I, I just I never see a napkin or any attempt. I mean, you know how people eat. You know, they usually will wipe themselves off if they're handling food like this. They'll take a drink. They'll reset. I mean, it, it's just constant. Hand, like, look at this glass right here. I mean, do you see all the residue on it? it I just I don't I don't know. I, I think the guy is being charged with um, going to have a reaction that you expect, or I mean, I think they were expect. Is that ketchup right here? Is that what that is? 
Did she have it in the beginning before she started? Because we're at 10.09. Not that it matters. Yeah, it is ketchup. Okay. How do you not feel that? I... Expecting to peeve the guy off and get a reaction, but, you know, you got more than you bargained for kind of thing. But I don't think the guy, like, deserved to be shot over that. So the fact that he was acquitted of all charges, like, relating to the shooting, like, actually shooting somebody. I mean, the guy didn't even, I mean, the YouTuber didn't even push him or anything violent. It was just, like, in his face. He was in his face and kind of threatening. But, I don't know, maybe the guy freaked out. Maybe he has mental illness issues. We don't know. I mean, I don't know. To me, the guy kind of resembled. Do you know what is the worst uh, if, of, of when the girls and girl world do this, like, eat in front of the camera thing? It, it's not the suction noises. It's not the licking of the fingers. It's not the hyperventilating in between bites. You know what's the worst for me? The jaw clicks. The jaw clicks are the worst for me. Just when you hear that little... Like th that, I don't know what it is. I, I just sets off something inside of me. It's it's oh, egregious. The guy from um, what's his name? From Terminator and Pet Cemetery Two. How many ketchup packets does she have? Good God. Was the guy taking his YouTube video too far? Yeah. You don't get in people's face and start, like, playing obscenities to harass I, people. I, I, I can't. Like, the, the periodic telling of this story while she's jaw-clicking and dressing each bite with ketchup. I just, <laughs> this, this video is awful. It, it's just flat. It's not as... It, listen, there's different... There's varying levels of awful, in my opinion. Like, that elephant one will probably... I'll be be the worst of all time um the wax museum one was pretty awful as well um this one's a different kind of awful it's just it, it makes my skin crawl well then don't watch it if you're just gonna sit there and complain the whole time why do you reaction channels just like <laughs> i mean we are kind of having fun i guess i, I guess <laughs> this is this is a lot this is um, definitely, I mean, look at this burger. Like, look, look at the ketchup. And then I, I bet you when she goes in for another bite, she dresses it again. Like on, t on top of already the ketchup burger, we have to add more ketchup. It's not funny. It's not cool. And it might have actually like scared him. In the end, I don't think people have the right to just go around and shoot people because someone gets in your face. I'm I'm curious to see before she finishes this burger, will she use the remainder of the Thousand Islands dressing or will she let this go to waste? Because it's kind of looking like we're running low on the ketchup packets here, but... There is still a big swab of dressing that she could get on this burger. Will she go for it? You know. <laughs> Actually, that's a very huge burger, a lot of meat. It's 
so I'm unable to finish it. My favorite was the onion rings. They were crunchy and seasoned and delicious with the sauce. Anyways, guys. Um, Girl, get real. Is this is this you trying to cosplay being dainty? You're not going to finish the burger. You know what? You know what is going to happen as soon as she presses that little circular red button and, and ends the video? You know it's it's going to happen at lightning speed as soon as that button is pressed. <laughs> you can't fit. Come on. I guess that's it. I just wanted to share that little bit of news I saw. I'm sure you, a lot of you have seen it. Maybe some of you haven't. Feel free to share your, you know... Respect. I want. I wanted to share that news with you. Maybe some of you have heard about it. Maybe some of you haven't. If you're gonna, I, I want to talk to the person. I want to have a one-on-one -on -one interview with the person that gets their world news from Chantal. <laughs> All right, y'all. I, I don't know what Scott did to me. I just. I, I'm feeling a little bit delirious. I. I don't know if I can do it anymore. I don't know if I can do an Amberlynn into a Chantal into another Chantal. It's just it. It's, it awakens something inside of me. So I. I will see you next time.